Good morning everybody. So today's video is a trip to Skegness. So yeah, my brother's going, my brother's girlfriend and little baby Ronnie and me and Ellie are going, aren't we? Yes we are. And I'm hoping she's going to have a nap in the car because she's tired. So I thought I'd take you along with us for today and make some memories. It's quite hot so it should be a bit cooler at the seaside. So yeah, come along with us. Are we in Skegness, Ellie? Yeah. Are we in Skegness? Say hello, Uncle Richard. Skeg Vegas. Skeg Vegas, yeah. Skeg Vegas. Little Ronnie, he's um, hats come on his face. There you go. There you go.
to get one eight eight teddy bear. So we've had to put some more money in, play some more games, and now we're going to see if we've got enough. Oh, well, we should easily do it this time, shouldn't we? Yeah, should do it now. It's my stack. Is that all yours? Yeah, it's all mine. Oh, yeah. We need uh, 530. Oh, we're going to rinse it, rinse it. Might get some sweeties Might left over there. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Wow. <laughs> Ellie might get some sweeties. There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think we've got enough for Ronnie's teddy bear and some sweeties, yeah. hopefully. Your first dinosaur, Ronnie. Yeah. Any of Sparko. Uncle Rich will buy you some sweets, Ellie. Yeah, I'll get a <laughs> 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 Hi everyone, so we're back from Skegness today. We had a really, really nice day. The weather was really nice. We just went around the arcades and we had some fish and chips and we also went to have our crystal balls read um, which was quite exciting and my brother's never had um, anything like that done or anything so I went in first and I said if it was crap then obviously don't go but it was really good so I told him to go so he went as well and he came out and he was absolutely blown away couldn't believe how accurate she was and things that she had to say so yeah, when I went in, um, I had to make three wishes, which were... <laughs> wow, Ellie's just um, running around, if you can hear her. So yeah, she, hold, she told me to hold the crystal ball, which I did, and then she told me to make three wishes, which I did, and then I passed the ball back to her, and um, then she started. And, um, and if you don't know already, me and my husband are in the process of buying a house, we're hoping to move house soon, buy a house, we've seen a few that we like um, but nothing's like set in stone as of yet, we've got our name down for a new build that will be ready um, in a couple of months and this is no kidding, the very first thing she said to me was you're going to buy a house, you're going to be moving house, I can see big changes on the home front um, she said it's going to be quiet for a couple of months she said but in September you're going to be moving house um, so yeah, that was like, wow, she's um, she's got a spot on with there. She said to me uh, that I have got three children. She said she knew I had three children. She said um, I've got one that's very sensitive, that is Sophie. She said I've got one that doesn't give a shit about anything, that's so carefree, complete opposite to the sensitive one, that's Amy. And she said that um, I have a child that's a bit of both, which is what, I, what Ellie is like which is really cool and she said do you want any more children and I said I don't know I said we're a bit up in the air at the moment she said yes you are going to have another baby she said that will complete your family she said but it's not going to be right now she said it'll be in a couple of years she said you're not going to have any problems in your pregnancy it's going to be a straightforward pregnancy and I said after she'd said that I said oh well that's reassuring because I was hospitalized for 16 weeks when I was pregnant with my last baby because I was so sick she said no it's going to be absolutely fine you're going to have no problems whatsoever so that's good that's one of the reasons why I've not wanted to go for another baby because I was just so scared of um, getting high premises again so that was good and she said that I am a very healthy person she said the only thing that she can see is that I'm a worrier and when I worry then I have problems with my stomach without going into too much information she was absolutely spot on about that um, I do worry a lot and when I worry it does affect my stomach with um, bowel movements and things like that um, she said that I'm a very down to earth person a very loving person you know a very generous and kind person that I wouldn't harm anybody I wouldn't want to see anybody get hurt or anything like that she said that my three girls well all of my children I can assume including the fourth one I'm going to have apparently she said they're going to be very good children they're not going to be into crime they're not going to be into drugs they're going to be just normal children doing normal things she said I'm going to be very proud of them and she said one of them she goes which one is the clever one 
and that's Sophie. She said she's going to do so well in her life. She's going to do very well um, in her life. And some people might say that she has to try a bit harder. But the only reason why they say that is because she's quite shy. Which she is for a start. But she said she's very clever. She's going to do well in her life. So that was really, really nice. Um, she also said that um, I am healthy. That there's no, like, nothing major health-wise is going to happen to me. She said I'm going to live to a good old age. She said everybody in my family are healthy. She did know that um, one of my relatives do, does have some health issues. <coughs> which I think is my brother. Because I said, oh, is it my mum? She said, no, your mum's fine. You don't have to worry about your mum. And my brother's um, just had a few issues in the past. So she said that nothing's life threatening or anything like that. She said um, somebody I know, well somebody in my family is pregnant. They might not know it yet or they're just not telling anybody yet. So I'm not quite sure who that is but hopefully we'll find out if that's true. She said you've got a big family event coming up soon which I do. I have a wedding in a couple of weeks. She said that um, family that don't get to see each other very often or that have had like issues in the past and things like that. This wedding will all come together and everybody will just come together and just have a very good time and be happy. And that's true because we've got relatives in Ireland that I've not met for various reasons and things like that. Um, she said that the couple that are getting married are absolutely made for each other and they are. She said that um, she knew that I was married. She said that um, she can see that I've had an ex-partner who hurt me which was true. Um, she said you could write a book on the things that I've been through. She said, but you have met somebody, you're with somebody, you're married. She said, he is your soulmate. She said, um, you might not be like the perfect match together because we bicker a lot on things. She said, but you are actually soulmates. You are gonna be together forever. She said, he absolutely dopes on you. He worships the ground you walk on. Like, everything he does is for you. Um, she also said he's a very good father figure, which he is. She said he's also the soft one, which he is, because he always gives in to my children and especially to Ellie. Um, so she got that spot on. She said that he's had a major change in um, his work, and he has, because if you weren't aware, he spent all of his adult life in the RAF. And he's recently left the RAF and now he's started a completely different job which allows him to be home every night because he used to be away. And she said that he's still getting, you know, he's still getting in the terms of his new job, things like that. She said that he doesn't like to be bossed around, he likes to be his own boss. He doesn't like to be, you know, told what to do because he's quite capable and that is true, he is his own boss. Pretty much he doesn't work, um, he can work in a team but he, he's better when he works on his own. Um, he's going to get some sort of um, promotion or he's going to move up in his job very soon and that's going to make him relax. She said um, that we have had our ups and downs. She said in the last four to five months you have packed your bags on more than one occasion. She said I know that, I know that it's been stressful, she said, but you're not going anywhere, you're going to stay together, you're going to be together forever, you're going to move into this home which is your like forever home, it's not a house that you're going to move into and then have to move again in a few years, it's going to be the home that you want, it's going to be a home that you have to do a little bit of work to, so maybe we're not going to get the new build, I don't know. But yeah, it's now 25 to 6, so I'm going to have to get Ellie um, some tea and then some bath time and then bedtime. If my voice sounds a bit funny, I've got a cough and I keep needing to swallow. But yeah, it's been a really, really good yeah. day. Um, you like that ball, don't you? Ellie, did you have a good day today? Yeah? yeah. Give me a high five. Clever girl, high five. Baby five. Baby five. You gonna clap? Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Hello? <laughs> Daddy! Is that? Yeah. Is that you? Are you going to give Mummy a kiss? Mm. Say ta ta. Ta ta. You're going to wave. Ta ta. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. 
Yay! But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. We had a good day out in Skegness. Please hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, and let me know down in the comments if you've ever been to see a medium or fortune teller or palm reader or tarot cards or whatever. And um, let me know if what they said was true. And yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.